Hi, this is Chuck Birch coming to you from New Tech. Today we're going to be talking about the trailers that we have specially manufactured for us. Today we're looking at the SSQ2 with the SSQ trailer. This is a 12,000 pound trailer. We've got really nice heavy chains on it. Uh, and when you tow this, make sure you pull, uh, do it to towing specifications to the way they're uh, supposed to be towed. Uh, we do have a battery. Uh, for breakaway, uh, it does have a nice test switch, and then when you plug it in uh, for towing, the battery's automatically charged and the light will light up and tell you that you're charging. And you can see the beefiness of the trailer. We've got some really nice good steel on this trailer. Uh, nice reflective tape. Uh, and then we also have the Easy Step uh, fender. It's got the traction on it um, you can step right here and step up there to do your maintenance on your overhead reel rack and your decoiler or coil we have this also on both sides of the trailer uh, come on around here now we're going to talk about the jack um, when transporting make sure your jacks are all the way up uh, crank them all the way up this is not quite all the way up bring it all the way up until it stops that way you're not going to hit anything on the ground leaving the job or going on to the job also one of the features we have uh, we used to weld these on and now what we have is we put a second tab in here to where you can bolt it on uh, take it off and put a new one on that way you don't have any uh, if you bend it uh, it's easy to change we have these special brackets on here that are welded on uh, where you can put a d-ring in here uh, you can take the trailer with a crane and lift it up and set it on the edge of the building uh, and then run your panels right off the building. That way you don't have the expense of labor of moving the panels from the ground up to the building. Uh, the other feature we have on this one is a catch tray. Uh, the catch tray, you pull the lever, slide this out, and that catches the chip from the shear. Also, we have with the SSQ2 trailer with notching, we also have one at the other end where the notchers are, and we have a second tray up there. Again, you got to step over here. Uh, we have nice LED lights all the way around. Uh, nice reflectives also. Uh, and when you're transporting the trailer before you move it, make sure your uh, tires are all up to the proper uh, inflated pressure. Uh, make sure your lugs are tightened to proper specification. And also you follow the trailer manual uh, for maintenance and make sure you uh, lube your uh, wheel bearings to the specification of the uh, trailer manufacturer. Well, let's talk about the motors uh, when you're transporting it. Uh, this has got the electric motor on it. Make sure your motor's unhooked, your cable's tucked away nicely. Uh, and then also with your gas motor, if you have a gas motor on here and transporting, make sure you turn everything off, especially your gas. Uh, on the back side of that motor, you got an on off for the fuel. Uh, if you have it on and you transport it, there's a float in the carburetor that floats and it'll flood the, tra uh, flood the motor to where it won't run properly or you won't even get it started. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about here is uh, in sa safely transporting your machine. Make sure your width adjustment is locked in place. And then we want to make sure your trailer jacks are all the way up. Make sure your computer is closed up and you also have a lock that goes with it make sure your cables don't flop around make sure they're tucked underneath nicely uh, all your uh, safety latches are latched all the way through the machine walk around it make sure that all of those are attached uh, if you pull this out and dump it, make sure it's got the latch on it, pull it in, make sure it's latched all the way and it won't come out on transportation. Again, make sure your jacks are all the way up. Uh, when you're trans safely transporting, make sure all of these are in. The bottom pins go down and latch, the top ones go up and latch, that way this is safely attached. Uh, if you want, you can also put a bungee cord around it to keep down some rattling and some shaking. Uh, and then when you're transporting the coil, make sure your decoilers, if they turn, make sure you lock them down so they don't spin or come off. Make sure you, all your pins are in here and latched nice and tight. Uh, and then if you're transporting it with the coil on here, make sure we got some tape on it right now. Make sure you put a ratchet strap on it, lock it, ratchet it tight. And we also want one going around the side 
through the coil all the way around for proper transporting and safely transporting. That way you don't have the coil coming loose and waving down the highway at everybody.